click the link below to see a full review of Alternators Ravage and Alternators Battle Ravage. Turning Jaguar Ravage. Bear with me. It's a simple transformation, but some of these panels want to fight with me. Open the doors, rotate them, pop it off the hinge, put it back on the hinge. <laughs> rotate it. Then I guess it's best to get these missiles out of here. Get them out of here. Rotate it on the hinge onto the other side of the wheel. You can go ahead and close this stomach section, which will become the stomach section. I like to pull these legs down. Get them out the way. Loosen this up. Get these out of the way. On both sides. Come on. Pull them out right here. And just get these out the way. Now that they're out of the way, I can grab this panel. Close them together. Close these seats. This stomach doesn't want to stay in place. Anywho. Now I can get these panels out the way. Put the hood back here, out of the way. Get the little paws. Lift them out. Twist them around right here. Twist them around, then they can rotate like that. Get them down, get them out the way. Rotate this hood all the way and put it back. So I just keep it there for the time being. Now to get his tail out of here and lift this panel up, lift that panel up. Open up the trunk. As I mentioned in the review, the trunk does open, but it's only for the transformation. Rotate the tail out. And shut. Shut the trunk back. Shut. Ah! Push this on the back. I wish that it sat more flush back there, but it doesn't. You can hinge that down. Rotate these missiles out the way. Bend out this part of the fender. Bend the foot forward to give them that backwards leg thing that animals typically have. And basically, you're done. He's a kitty. Transforming Ravage back. I usually start with this tail. Open the trunk back up. Flip the tail back in there. Get that license plate back to normal. Close it. Go to the front, turn that back around, keep that head up. Get this rear section back into its normal shape. Let's see what next. Lift the arms up. Rotate them back this way. Fold them down, bend this part back, put the hands, front paws back down, hit 
hands these back in. Rotate the hood back up. Oh gosh, these fenders. I don't like to go in the place. Okay. Got it there. Leave the doors out the way. Back legs. Back up. You can lift the seats back out. Pull these back up. <laughs> You can put that back on later. <laughs> Push the legs back up, bring in knees or whatever you call this part of an animal back. Squeeze it together right here. Push the legs up. Open this little tummy up. Hands these missiles back into place. Basically, oh my gosh. Shut the doors. And he's a Jaguar again. Transforming Alternator's Battle Ravage. First thing I typically do is open up the hood. Get the gun out of there. Or engine. Set that off. Open the doors. Lift the windshield. Up, separate the front, and try to wiggle these legs down. Sometimes I get the crotch plate out of the way, get these out of the way, these missile parts, but basically just accordion the leg down Ugh, gosh it's so tight accordion the leg down push the hood close on both sides push the front fender back Twist the foot forward on both sides. Get the heel spur out. Then I typically hinge the fenders up behind the leg. Rotate these doors this way and out the way separate this part behind the seats rotate this this way rotate that this way leave them out the way separate the rear rotate them that way Pull this fake windshield down, flip in this panel, go inside of here, pull the forearms out, rotate that down, flip it all around, pull the hands down. Same over here, flip it around, pull the hands out. Twist the head around and put the missiles into place. 
however you see fit. There's no real specific way. But I usually just have them aimed up. Just the crotch pleats down. And pretty much you're done. Once you can get them standing up. I'm adjusting this fender because they're getting them away. Shotguns back in. Take the gun out of his hand. Rotates the hands in. Move these doors out of the way. Put them there. Rotate the arms basically. Flip them around. Bring them down and then up into the crevice right there. Bring them back. And up into that crevice. I like to flip his head backwards. I don't think you really have to do that. Rotate the fake chest up. See my initials that I put on there? Lift that up like that. Move the missile rack out the way. Rotate the arms this way. And close it back up. Rotate this this way, rotate the missiles that way. Basically, closed up. The back of the car is done. Feet, put the hill spurs back in. Rotate the feet back out that way. Now, this is the tough part. I usually move the crotch plates back forward and try to get these while keeping the Doors out of the way. Accordion the knees back up. I used to have a simple way. I know I remember to move open the hood up. Had a simple way to do this, but I don't remember it. Put this little pin with the door in it. Make sure that the fender is over that on both sides. Peg the legs together. I'm going to get the doors out the way. Basically, peg the legs together. Move the front of the car back. So now that once you can turn the wheels like this, you know you did it right. Push the windshield down. Get the doors out the way again. They just get in the way of the whole transformation. Push the crotch plates down. Bring these down. Wait, actually leave the crotch plates up. Get these down under the crotch plate and behind the front of the car. Shut the doors. Get the side views out. Put the hood together if it's not together. Transform this gun. Put the handle up. Peg the gun into place. Shut the trunk. Squeeze everything, make sure it's right. Oh yeah, crotch plate. Now it should be good. Corvette Ravage. Next, oh. you throw their ass back in the boxes 
and hide them away forever. Ah. Uh.